What's poppin' people? It's Dante. Streets of Philly. The city of brotherly love. And today, I'm with the Rico GR3X, filming with the GoPro Mini 1080p, 30fps, exported to 720p. Right, the GoPro is an amazing device, right? To just have this little camera to record video, audio, whatever it is, gives me this ultimate creative freedom where actually everything becomes a creative canvas, whether I'm filming something, recording my thoughts, etc. I actually believe that the power of media production is the future, right? So thinking of social media, Hollywood, these kind of things this morning and the sort of stranglehold it has on the culture at large, you know, we all have these phones in our pockets, right? I have my phone in my pocket today. I like to uh, use it to import the videos from my GoPro and post them on the go sometimes. And you know, it's something that I believe we naturally sort of pick up and bring out with us onto the streets. But a lot of the times I actually think that we just, we just are just going with the paces and forget that we can actually just go outside and enjoy life without checking our phones and being in constant communication with the world. Um, it's just a thought, right? And, you know, to be in a state of production and to produce your own media, I believe to be the future where, yeah, the power of the artist has never been so potent that we no longer need to go through any sort of, you know, basic publishers, you know, producers, directors, all these people that are in the line of production when it comes to making things, whether it's a movie, or a photo book or something like this. Yeah, we don't really need to go through these things anymore. And uh, I don't know, I think that's a beautiful thing for uh, artists in general. And I really do feel as though what, what my problem with social media and with Hollywood and sort of modern culture is that we, you know, are suckered into believing in these modern notions, notions of success, which typically have to do with some sort of external, uh, you know, material possession, right? Whether it's the clothes you wear, the car you drive, um, you know, the house you live in, you know, what is this idea of a home, right? I'm not looking to ever be hidden away and, uh, you know, li living inside of a home for any period of time, really. I mean, only for sleeping and eating. I mean, what is the function of a home? It's to raise a family, right? So the more I think about the home and the idea of success in the today's modern world, yeah, maybe the sign of success for a modern man is having a child. So consider Dante uh, unsuccessful, <laughs> right? Don't uh, look at me as an example of someone who is successful in life, for I merely am uh, being and without offspring. Um, so when I uh, approach the streets and make photographs, make videos, record audio, and enter this state of production, I find the ultimate power where your voice, your words, the things that you are up to and doing can then be propagated to the world and shared in, in this sort of raw format using the GoPro, right? Where in times of social media, we're sort of curating the perfect pictures and setting up the aesthetics and all these sort of things where, yeah, your life becomes this curated journey where it's merely a phony one in my opinion. And I believe the more that you consume social media, the more that you participate in the social media sharecropping industry of borrowing space to publish your art, yeah, the worse off that we are and uh, the less that we can creatively thrive where I actually believe that in order to have a sense of creative thriving and creative pro productivity, you must return to the basics, right? Return to the childlike state, return to the state of becoming where every day you wake up with a fresh pair of eyes, the world is a blank slate, recognizing the fate of the human, which is death, and yeah, just sort of going out into the world and um, making something out of nothing. And I think through the power of photography, we can achieve this goal through abstracting and extracting from life itself, using black and white, using small pocketable cameras that you can take around with you, 
it's a quite powerful thing. And to go back to the basics, right? To go back to the basics where you forget everything you think you know and just go out there and play. Yeah, it's a nice state to be in where I think of this metaphor towards uh, skateboarding. My favorite skateboarding trick is the boneless. The boneless is a trick that you can learn before the ollie. And typically the ollie is looked at as the trick that opens up all of the creative possibilities for a skateboarder. But I believe the boneless being something very fundamental and basic that opens up and unlocks unlimited and infinite possibilities on the streets when you're skateboarding is how I, how I consider the approach to my photography going forward where I am merely going back to the basics and applying the sort of restriction on the creativity or the restriction on my quote unquote knowledge of photography and sort of being in a state of play to then go out there and have unlimited possibilities with what I can achieve. Hopefully this kind of makes sense where the boneless is so fundamental and basic of a trick and often overlooked because people are looking to then do these more advanced tricks that are more impressive to other people, etc. So yeah, just consider the uh, sort of creative possibilities of returning to the childlike state, of returning to the amateur state where you forget everything you think you know. Let's just put it that way, right? And um, yeah, the boneless is certainly my favorite skateboarding trick. Love the boneless. It's a very simple trick that opens up endless possibilities on the streets when skateboarding. Um, and so yeah, I think just uh, photographing with the stream of consciousness in mind, not really thinking too much, you kind of just turn off um, your thoughts when you're on the street and just sort of be, right? You be like a rock harden and just allow the chips to fall as they may. Just go with the flow. Let life flow towards you. Don't expect anything from the external world around you. Don't expect any validation for the work you're making. Um, don't expect to find the, the moment of your dreams on the street. Just go out there and uh, photograph in an autotelic approach I'm good. where everything that we create is for our own pleasure. And if there's one other person out there that gets it, consider that success. <laughs>